So today, Epic Games released Unreal Engine 5 officially, and we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Now, first things first, go ahead and uninstall the previous Unreal Engine 5 version you have because it's going to screw up with installation. So remove that first, close out your Epic Games launcher, restart your computer, and then install the new one. It's going to install it, and then it's going to update it for like five gigabytes or something like that. So it's going to take a minute. Additionally, they did release the whole Matrix demo for free. And again, I'm going to break this video up in multiple sections because we have a lot to cover. So if we go to the marketplace right now, you're going to see that we have some new ones in Epic Games content. We have the city sample vehicles. We have a Lyra starter game, buildings from the Matrix, some city sample crowds. Now I'm hoping we can get some clothes from this right here, which we're going to take a look at later. But what I ended up doing was just downloading this entire thing, which is 85 gigabytes and includes... As far as I know, it includes the crowds, the buildings, and the vehicles. And it looks like they have an ML Deformer that just came out. All right. I didn't even see that until now, but we'll, we'll take a look at that as well. I just came out legit just now. All right. Additionally, they did come out with a new hub of information, an information hub. And I was actually lucky enough to beta test this for them. And if you watch the State of Unreal live stream UE5 release video, you'll see that uh, video they had right here. So go check that out. Um, actually saw my face here, which is super cool. I didn't know it was going to show up, but it did. So yeah, that's big stuff. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and open up the city demo. We have it right now. Um, go ahead and take a look at this current recommendation specs, 12 core CPU, 64 gigs, GeForce 2080, and at least eight gigs of VRAM. All right. So we're going to do YOLO. We're going to do the big city level map right now. So let's go to map. We're going to open up the big city level. Now this loaded up fairly quickly. Um, surprisingly, I didn't have to compile a lot of shaders. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I will have to compile a lot of shaders. I don't know. We'll have to see. This is, this is a recording live right now. All right. So this freaking map is massive. Now, when the Matrix demo first came out, uh, I told you all there's some rumors that they were going to let us download the entire project. And sure enough, here we are. So let me go ahead and drive around here. This is the editor view, and I'll make this kind of smaller here. And let's fly around so we can kind of see how massive this is. Now, obviously, I'm just going to take a look at this and just kind of give you an overview for now so that we're not making an entire video, like, super long. Is that a Niagara bird? Yeah, let's see if I can catch it. That's cool. That's got to be a Niagara bird. That's really cool. It looks good. So I'm going to go right here. And let's go out so you can see the scale of this map. And they did announce that a couple more games to switch into UE5. Um, one of them is uh, Tomb Raider. So now you got Tomb Raider, Gears of War, Witcher. And honestly, I, I wish they would remake Cyberpunk in this because the technology of UE5 would benefit uh, for Cyberpunk, to be honest. And let's take a look to see if all of these are Nanite because I think they should be. Okay, where is Nanite now? Right here, Nanite and Triangles. And yes, all of them are Nanite enabled. That is insane. I love it. That looks cool. And let's go out, because like I said, this map is ginormous. It is super big. And let's see if I can kind of get the... Um... All right, I'm going to try and see if I can find the statistics right here. Just to kind of show you how massive this map is. So we're going to look at... I'm going to make this bigger. Ain't no way. I'm going to see this in a little screen. I'm going to click on this right here. Uh, let's see here. Tris triangles is right here. We got sum of all triangles. Triangle count on all mesh. And this is triangle count of mesh. So I'm going to click on this right here. So it's, it's looking like it's 266 million triangles, which is pretty darn big. There is the sum total of all of them. And I don't even think we have the crowd sim in here as well. We don't have the cars and stuff like that. So it looks like this is broken down by like an intersection, which is amazing. Because I can easily turn this into a cyberpunk kind of environment. And it's going to look really freaking good. When I was watching that demo, I noticed that the cars were, were actually nanite as well. So yeah. So these are static meshes. 
So as far as, as far as I know, you can only nanite static mesh, but these cars were moving. So I'm going to try and find out how they were able to do that. But I'm, I'm guessing they probably did the same exact trick they did with the value of the ancient demo, because this car is nanite. So as far as I know, nanite does not work with skeletal mesh. So this must be a static mesh, but I want to know how they were able to get it moving. Again, we're going to, we're going to really dig deep into this and see how everything is. The license plate looks cool. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a playable in here. Let's go ahead and just press play. I, I doubt there's going to be anything in here. And if we crash, I actually just, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I just opened the thing. All right, so it actually played after a couple of minutes and I can actually walk in here as this character. And now we've seen the demo already. Um, but wow. This looks incredible. I can try to put it on full screen here. Okay, so I'm going to walk. And I'm kind of curious to see what FPS we're running this on right now. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the level blueprint. And let's see if we can turn on the FPS. Okay, so here is what populates it. Do an executive command and I'll just do stat FPS and I'll go ahead and compile and save this. Something simple because I want to see what this runs in. Um, let me turn this down to epic because you saw that I was kind of struggling there. And let's go ahead and try to play this level now. Okay, so it looks like stat FPS is now working. This is turned down to a different setting. So we're again at 30 frames per second. And let me make this full screen. Wow. Get about 40 frames per second right now. And it's not in cinematic mode and it's not constant either. So yeah, we're going to definitely get some clothes here. There's a lot of nice clothes. That's, I'm hoping we're going to be able to steal. Now I am recording this on a different computer, so this is not going to affect the performance that we have in here. And like I said, as you can see, these cars are nanite and they're moving. So we're definitely going to have to look up what's going on there. Got some nice shadows going on. This traffic looks freaking good. Let me turn down my mouse a little bit because, oh, uh, let me turn on my mouse to 800. Wow. I didn't have like a PlayStation or Xbox. So this is actually my first time playing through this. And this is insane that I'm playing this in editor right now. This looks incredible. What happens if I go in the middle? Are they going to stop? Oh, snap. That's a metahuman inside there as well. Dude, that's crazy. Even though the LODs on those metahumans are probably like three or four, they populated this entire city, well, this block with metahumans in cars, and I am getting 37, 40 FPS in the viewport. That's impressive. Yeah, she is probably low. Yeah, not low LOD zero for sure. Wow. And it's kind of making me curious what GTA 6 is going to look like. I don't know if they have something better or they're going to have to scrap their entire project because this really just upped the game. This looks really good. Okay, so let's go and escape out of that because I know you've seen, you've seen all those videos already that people made uh, for PlayStation, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the contents that's inside this thing. So we have the crowd and we have some characters. We have some male and female in here. We have groom. And again, we're going to try and see that they have a, some hairs in here that you can actually get. There's a couple of new ones that you can download in here, which is good that we can steal. We can definitely steal those, but I'm looking 
for close, actually, is where I want to go in. Let's go to, let's see, crowd again. Accessories, maybe? All right, so we got some backpacks and purses and things like that. Animations. Okay, so this is their locomotion BP. Okay, got that. I want the clothes. I want to see the actual clothes because I need to know. I okay, guess so the normal weight meshes. Okay, so here's some meshes right now. Let's take a look. So we have this nice blazer here. Let's take a look at this. Uh, so let me see. Okay, so this is using skeleton base, skeleton base. I wonder if we're going to be able to retarget this to a meta human um, and steal this clothes. So we're going to minimize this. So we got some female normal weight. Okay, so that's the, the clothes. I'm going to dig deeper in there. I'm going to steal some clothes in there. Uh, let's look at some cars, vehicle. And we got, we got a drone, textures. We got some vehicles right here. So it is a blueprint class. So that's how they're moving. Okay, minimize. What is this one? Why is there two of them? Go to viewport. So this is the actual bus. And it is a static mesh. Okay, so it is a static mesh in a blueprint that is moving it. So that's kind of how they got away with the Valley of the Ancient um, monster, was they just put a bunch of static meshes on a body and connected it that way. It's the same thing. It looks like it is a blueprint, but nanite, blue, uh, nanite static mesh, which is cool, because if I go now to that static mesh, we're gonna see it right here. This has one million vertice. And it is nanite. So if I drag and drop it in here, this is super, super high quality. Wow. That looks amazing. And again, let's turn on nanite. Triangles, sure enough, it sure is. Wow. That is super cool. So let's take a look at some more vehicles. Again, we're going to dive into this a little bit more later. Oh, shit, this is a proxy. We're pretty much going to tear this project apart, is what we're going to do. We're going to salvage everything and anything that I can get my hand on. So this is the blueprint class. And again, if I go in here and find where that static mesh is, SM Nanite, go to that folder, and here it is. Well, this is just the mesh, the actual... That's cool, and that's actually how they're able to crash these cars, I think. It's because they have it in a blueprint, and they can just wreck this stuff. And this looks really freaking good. This looks great. I mean, everyone has the same um, plate number, but we can change that. Wow. All right, so we take a look at, we took a look at the buildings, the crowds, and the cars. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do right now. Because like I said, I want to break this down into different pieces because this project is just freaking massive. Uh, but if you haven't downloaded it, go ahead and download it and play around with it. And then let me know what you think about this new Unreal Engine 5 Matrix demo. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.